Hi, my name is Joanna McDonald, and I am a freshman this year studying music composition. I chose Rafa Esparza's Indestructible Column um, to represent my piece because I felt like there were several aspects of his piece of art that correl correlated back to my composition, which is um, called A Glimpse for Violin Solo. So Esparza created this piece of art in response to harsh immigration policies in the U.S. and how these policies have caused a lot of human suffering and pain and family separation. So originally, Esparza climbed inside of the column and then chiseled his way out over a period of about two hours. Um, and as a result, there's these smaller and larger pieces of concrete outside of the column. And when I saw these pieces of concrete, it made me think of a theme that I used um, in my composition, which is these short, abrupt phrases that end rather loudly and are followed by a succession of short notes. And I envisioned these short phrases as representing these small pieces of concrete breaking free from the column as Esparza chiseled them away. And then um, when I saw the film of dust that was covering the pieces of concrete in the column caused by the chiseling, it made me think of a special technique I used at the end of my violin solo where the violinist does this rapid bowing very lightly over the strings causing this feathery, glassy, or in this case, dusty sound, and I felt like that was correlated back very nicely to that idea. Um, so even though I didn't use this piece of art as inspiration to write my piece, I was really thrilled to find several aspects of the piece of art that correlated back to some musical ideas in my piece. So I hope as you listen, you can also observe and hear these similarities as well. Hi, my name is Jake Sandridge, and today I will perform an improvisation using radio feedback, news sound samples, and filters based on a work by Alexandra Bell called A Teenager with Promise. In Bell's work, there are three versions of the 2014 news article, with each successive edit including less of the original article. 
In the original article, there is an effort to make Michael Brown and the officer seem to be equals, rather than two people with very different power dynamics. In her second edit, Alexandra blacks out much of the unnecessary, distracting, and irrelevant information from the article, and the end result is that not much of the text is remaining. In my improvisation, I aim to extend this idea to radio or television news, which uses similar tactics of distraction and irrelevant information. In my improv, you will hear a few sound samples of a broadcast announcing the Ferguson shooting. Most of the improvisation, however, will be interference from other radio stations, radio feedback, noise and static, a symbolic re replacement of the distracting and unnecessary text of the broadcasts. Additionally, the use of feedback is representative of the echo chamber, or half-truths and false information are repeated and amplified by social media channels.
My name is Auburn Lee. Today I'll be presenting an untitled work at the Rice Moody Center's exhibition, States of Mind, Art and American Democracy. For this piece, I've worked with a recording of The Peacocks, a song by Jimmy Rawls with lyrics by Norma Winston, recorded by my friend from college, Lila Smith, and accompanied by Kenny Marsh. Lila has graciously given me permission to use this recording for the project. The audio footage heard in this piece are the recordings of people who have lost loved ones or been separated from loved ones as a result of the violent actions of drug and immigration enforcement. The reason for this piece was reality no longer being enough to convey how disturbing the suffering of the people affected is. No matter your stance on the issue of police violence, I believe we have all been numbed by overexposure to these stories. And I believe we all have by now some degree of callousness to this kind of human suffering. This piece presents a possibly shocking juxtaposition of sounds that I hope makes the listener once again feel uncomfortable with the consequences of police violence, uh, no matter if it's in the United States or in South America, or in any place at any time. Ah! 
things all the same To the garden far below us The pavilion in the sunlight Where the peacocks proudly graze the A timeless place, another way of living You moved in so close I really thought that you I allowed myself a moment To believe that you could need upon what might have been the summer sky I saw reflected in the color of your eyes but somehow I could never peel away the layer of disguise I'm dry Sinking in a sea oh. of blue and green Where what you are is never seen <laughs> How can anybody know you? The peacocks still calling out a sad and bitter warning. Take a final look around you. Hold the memory forever. Find a quiet place inside where you can listen to the thing your heart. Amor